Folks, PDF is one of the most popular formats for storing text documents. But editing large PDF files and extracting information from them hasn't always been easy. Until now. Today, I'll show you a tool that lets you work with these files more effectively, analyze them, and optimize them using artificial intelligence. It's a real game changer for anyone who works with PDFs on a regular basis. Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. In the next 10 minutes, I'll introduce you to the PDF element tool and walk you through its basic features. You'll see how the AI can help you analyze PDFs, quickly extract important data, check grammar, and even export information in markdown format. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Now, let's get started and see how this AI tool works. PDF Element Tutorial PDF Element is a PDF editor by Wondershare. This all-in-one AI-powered solution makes it easy to edit, convert, and sign PDF files quickly and efficiently. It's available for free download on Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android smartphones. You can also use the web version and take advantage of its built-in cloud storage for file management. Let's download the app and see how it works. Here's the interface. It offers a variety of tools for working with PDFs, but we are particularly interested in its AI features. First, I am going to upload my PDF file. I've added the document. It's the constitution of a fictional country called Pataja. Now let's test Wondershare's AI assistant. Here are the features it offers. First, let's ask it to summarize the document so that it provides us with a brief overview. We'll use the chat with PDF field and let the AI analyze the file. Now we just need to wait for the summary. And here's the overview. Providing a brief description of our document. And highlighting the main takeaways. We can also ask more specific questions, such as what rights are guaranteed in Article 1 of this constitution? The AI immediately gives a detailed response with direct excerpts from Article 1. Now, I want to try a more thought-provoking question. Does this constitution violate human rights? Let's see what the AI says. In its response, we can see that the document ensures the protection and respect of human rights. PDF element also provides references to specific clauses and page numbers where these provisions can be found. So this is the summary we've got. Another useful feature is chat with AI. It allows you to ask questions beyond the document's content, just like chatting with ChatGPT. You can also summarize multiple PDFs at once, which is a great way to speed up your workflow. Additionally, there's a built-in Word translator and PDF translator. For example, you can select a target language and instantly translate a document. Once you hit the Translate button, PDF element will prompt you to save the new file with the text converted into this selected language. You can either view the new document in Finder or open it directly in the app. Let's open it now and take a look. As you can see, PDF Element has fully translated our document into German and preserved the original formatting and structure. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks! Now, let's come back to our file. Close the translated version and return to the original document. 
Here I want to show you another great feature of PDF element. Error checking. For example, we can select a paragraph and ask the AI to check for mistakes. As soon as we highlight the text, the tool immediately suggests corrections. In our case, it suggests using hold instead of holds and so on. Overall, the Paragraph Grammarly tool works perfectly for proofreading or checking the text for any errors. Alternatively, you can apply the PDF Grammar Check feature to inspect the entire document for possible mistakes. Just like with translation, the tool offers to save the new document with the corrected errors. It asks whether we want to save it. Let's save it and check the revised version. This error has been fixed. By the way, I intentionally created this file with small errors to test the tool, and it successfully corrected everything. Now let's test the Summarize Multiple PDFs feature. I've uploaded a new PDF that contains a detailed description of the country whose constitution we just analyzed. Next, I'm going to select the tool in the top bar. Open the grammatically corrected version of our PDF and summarize two files at once. Here's the result. A concise overview that highlights key details about the Constitution, which contains general rules and regulations regarding life in the country. The summary also includes information about our fictional country, Pat Asia. Next, let's test the General Markdown feature. This tool analyzes and summarizes the overview, key points and keywords, formatting them in Markdown. The conversion process begins. And once it's done, we can either open the .md file directly or view it in Finder. Here it is, the Patasia a contrast country .md file. The markdown version provides an organized summary of our PDF, including key points, keywords, and frequently asked questions with their answers. Another interesting feature is AI written detect, which identifies whether an AI or a human has written the document and shows the sections likely generated by AI. Let's check our file. We can see that the tool has highlighted certain sentences in orange, indicating parts that were likely AI generated. Here's a little secret. The entire document was actually created by AI. Artificial intelligence completely invented this fictional country from scratch. Final thoughts. Alright guys, let's finish up with a few clothing thoughts. Anyone who's ever tried copying information or formatting a PDF knows how tricky it can be, but with PDF element, it's another story. The tool instantly analyzes and converts even large documents, extracts information, and handles a range of other tasks. Plus, it's integrated with AI, making it capable of tackling more complex tasks. Overall, I haven't noticed any downsides to this tool. It's excellent in every way. But what do you think? Is there something you feel it's missing? I would love to hear your thoughts. If you're excited to try it out, or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Until next time.